Hello, my name is Keith Motes and I am a PhD student at Macquarie University in Equus and QSci Tech. And today it's, it's been a pretty standard day in the office. I just got done Skyping some colleagues. Uh, I'm writing up my PhD thesis. And uh, to be honest, I'm starting to get quite tired of this and I think I need a break. I was wondering what Carlos was up to, who is working in quantum nano diamonds. So why don't we go check it out? Hey, Carlo. Oh, How are you? I'm good, thanks. You? Yeah, good. I was, uh, I was just taking a break from my studies and thought I'd come see what your lab was all about. Sure. So I hear you work on nano diamonds? Yes, that's exactly right. So yeah. nano diamonds are this very, very tiny, small diamond. Uh, they are about a thousand of the, the size of uh, one of your, one of your hair. And what I'm particularly wow. interested in is uh, the MV center. This mm. is a particular small center. I can show you. So this is the structure of the, of the diamond, the carbon lattice. Uh, so the MV center is basically you, you have one carbon mm. is replaced by nitrogen yeah. and one carbon next to it is missing. Mm. So this uh, pair forms this uh, specific center it's called nitrogen vacancy center. Right, right. The uh, uh, MV center was started to do quantum information technologies. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason is um, the level system is uh, unique. Um, the, if you look at the level structure, you have a ground state and you have an excited state and they're both triplet. Yeah. And uh, both the ground state and the, and the excited states show um, um, a spin, a different spin. And so you can um, manipulate the spin uh, just by applying a microwave field. So just by exciting with the, with the green laser, you can polarize the system in, in, this, in this state. So irrespective of which state you start with, you end up in the zero spin state, which means that I if see. you look at it on the block sphere, you always polarize your system in the spin state zero. Now here you can, just by applying a microwave field, you can flip between zero and one. Again, in the block sphere, you cannot just um, uh, flip the spin here. Yeah. And you can also do the readout optically because uh, this level, fluoresce less. So you can you can you know which state you start you start from if you're a zero or one, which mm. makes a perfect qubit. So you can I see, I see. You can have a building block for doing quantum information technologies. Right. That's awesome. Uh, can we check out what this looks like in the lab? Yeah sure. Yeah. So on that side is where we prepare the source. Uh, so the laser, like, now you can't see it with your goggles on, of course, because it's uh, cutting off the green light, but the green light uh, gets polarized through that beam cube yeah. and also goes uh, through that uh, acoustic optic modulator, which is, um, um, it works like a switch. This is the stage where we put our sample. Uh, you see that there is um, a glass cover slide. On top of it, we have all these uh, deposit nanodiamonds. Mm -hmm. We can scan the stage and look at the fluorescence that they emit. The signal, you can see it on that screen, each of those luminescent points is, um, is one of these nanodiamonds with these centers uh, fluorescing. Yeah. And actually, behind you, um, I'm measuring the number of photons per second that the, that particular nanodiamond is, uh, is emitting. Um, mm, wow. Maybe we could take a look at it with the lights off? Yeah, sure. I'll just switch off the lights so you can see how it looks like in dark. Awesome. Yeah. And on, on this side of the table, the, the, the system looks a bit complicated because uh, there are four different laser photodiode that are um, uh, all coupled in a single fiber. Um, I was uh, actually trying to run an experiment here for doing uh, optical trapping and using uh, the um, the MV centers for uh, biological purposes. Because mm. I didn't mention to you, but uh, even, even though I told you that historically the MV 
um, was initially studied for uh, quantum information technology. Mm. Over the years, people have found many other applications that the MV Center uh, can be useful for. Uh, what is very special about uh, this MV Center in the nanodiamond is the fact that these properties, these quantum and optical properties, are preserved at room temperature because of the strength of the nanodiamond that works like a cage that protects this uh, system. And this is the only system that you, you, you find in, in, in nature, if you like, mm. um, that uh, has these uh, quantum properties at room temperature. And I didn't mention that to you, but I, as, I say, as I was saying before about using this um, um, nanodiamonds for biological application, so, mm -hmm. you know, we are 18% made out of uh, carbon. Yeah. So, diamond is made out of carbon. So, it's yeah. completely non-toxic. We can put them inside a cell and we can track them down and even perform drug delivery based on, uh, based on, uh, on this uh, nanodiamond.